Hi to everyone, this is RK and uh, you are watching Vivi Academy channel. And uh, the next question uh, in this uh, video is Magnetic lines of force or magnetic lines forms continuous loops. So as we have seen the diagram which is given up on the board that if we had taken a bar magnet so when we are drawing a magnetic lines of force, mapping of magnetic lines of force, we will map in the same way the loops which is starting from north to south. So the same question is asked why it forms continuous loops, continuous closure loops. So already and obviously we know that if you had considered a magnet, either maybe bar magnet and whatever the magnet we had considered, monopole or single pole magnets that does not exist. So, obviously the simple possible way is to take magnetic dipole, that means it consists of two poles. So, the path of magnetic poles or a path, uh, a free magnetic needle or compass starts from north pole and terminates to south pole to form a loop. And this is the reason why we will get a continuous closure loops. Okay, but the main reason is uh, magnetic force exist in pair. So as a result, it starts from north to south pole. So we will get a continuous closure loops. If you had taken a bar magnet in actual uh, line or equatorial line. And this is very very important, very short answer question. Now coming to the next question, so as you have gone through the question, the question is given as the earth magnetic field at equator is approximately 0.4 Gauss. Estimate the earth's dipole moment as if the given radius of the earth R is equal to 6.4 into 10 power 6 meters. So let us uh, write the given data. So they had given a radius of the earth r is equal to 6.4 into 10 power 6 meters. And uh, also they had given a magnetic field, earth's magnetic field, nothing but V is equal to 0 0.4 Gauss. Gauss is the Celsius unit, so we have to convert it into Tesla. That is a 4 into 10 power minus 5 tesla. Okay, so this is the values, uh, value they had given to us, and uh, here. Um, so on equatorial line, the formula for B. E will be V is equal to U naught M by 4 pi R. So here we have to calculate uh, magnetic di uh, magnetic moment, Earth's a dipole moment. We have to calculate Earth's a dipole moment. So then we have to calculate M. So then it will be 4 into 10 power minus 5 into 6.4 into 10 power 6 whole cube by mu naught by 4 pi. So in this formula we have to calculate again. So the remaining uh, uh, things we had a cross multiplied here then it will be b into uh, this one r cube and remaining it will be taken like this so already we know v naught by 4 pi value will be 10 power minus 7 so let us substitute that then we will get m is equal to 4 into 10 power minus 5 
into 6.4 into 10 power 6 whole cube. If you substitute 10 power minus 7 here, then we can write the 10 power minus 7 when we are writing the numerator as 10 power 7. 10 power minus 7 becomes 10 power 7. Then obviously we will get 1.05 into 10 power 23. Okay, so this will be the number of Thank you.